this is our Death Race arcade game. Um, we based it after like an old arcade game that actually has moving parts that you control instead of just a video screen. Um, basically, what you've got is this is a course, an obstacle course for a remote control car that you control from these two joysticks, and then uh, there's a bunch of obstacles and traps that you have to get through to get to the finish line at the end, and it will automatically keep track of your time and your score. Um, and there's a kind of complicated list of tasks you have to complete on your way out. Here's the car. Uh, so we integrated the controller in with everything else, and so it has the antenna from the remote control car, um, and then we have an up and down for forwards and backwards, and then left and right, which turn the wheels and forward, backwards, there's right, there's left. So once we cross the first tripwire, it makes a sound and everything starts, our timer starts, and we start to lose points uh, uh, at the higher the time goes. And then there's all sorts of different traps and things. So the first trap, uh, you got to run into these air, uh, targets and get into them, and you get points for that. And then this is a we have a magnet on the car with a hall sensor, hall effect sensor. And you have to hold the car up uh, against it, and the magnet likes to push the car back, so you have to really hold it up against. Lights, uh, slowly go up, and once you hit the green one, then you get the points, and you can proceed on. This is another one, and uh, once you hit it, it opens up the door so that you can continue on. Back in the underneath here, there's another target to run into, and there's another tripwire that when you hit it, it displays a time pause, and so you have five seconds where you can, you won't lose any score or any points or anything, and your time is paused during that. And then when you cross this tripwire, uh, it goes back and forth between red light and green light. And when you have green, then you can drive just fine. But when you hit red, you lose points on that. And uh, what you have to do here is run into this uh, lever arm, which is connected to a potentiometer. And you have to run into it until you get uh, a good sound. But if you hit it too far, it resets and you lose points. And when you run into all three of those, it starts a camshaft with some pistons, and so that just makes it a little bit more difficult to hit across. And then when you cross the finish line, it displays your final time and uh, final score. So here's adding points. Um, yeah, there's time pause, so you can actually drive the red light, green light, it'll make noise, but you won't lose any points, as you can see. Um, and then, yeah, it won on this one, you lose points there. James, try. So the tripwires are a laser pointer and a photoresistor so that when the uh, laser is on the resistor's uh, face then it has a certain resistance value and that way we can determine whether or not the beam is broken or not. And they're both in uh, 3D printed housings. Yeah, the doors are operated by servos with 3D printed arms on them and they go back and forth. And the Paul sensors are integrated into a 3D printed housing with uh, four LEDs. The uh, bumpers are little um, sensors that are having a spring and a um, little vibration, little sensor. vibration sensor type of thing. So that when it uh, gets hit in the front, then it closes the loop. So we have five picks running the whole system. We have a main pick controlling the score, time, and the display. 
and another pick uh, running the vibration bumpers and the motor, the DC motor to run the camshaft. Uh, another pick to run all the sound controls and uh, receiving all the different inputs from there. And uh, this pick does the potentiometer with the reset servo and the red light, green light and all its components. And the last pick is the two hall sensors with the eight LEDs and the servo mo motor door. And we have a relay separating the pick to the DC motor so for three power sources. We have a nine volt for the sound, which is amplifying the sound audio, and a, it also controls the RC car. And then two five volt power sources, one for all the motors and servos, and one for all the picks and the remaining components. This is a DC motor with a built-in gearbox going into the shop for the cams.